For straightness measurement of a machined slideway, I would use the Taylor Hobson Ultra Autocollimator with its wide range and high accuracy. With the system as standard, you get a laser alignment aid and a tablet PC which acts as the autocollimator's digital display as well as having the Taylor Hobson application software packages preloaded. An autocollimator measures angle very accurately and we use a reflector as the target. Mirrors need to be flat and a very good surface finish. There are various mirrors but normally we use this one, the 14224, which is a 50mm diameter mirror. Now before we start measuring, we need to check the fixturing, the environment, the orientation and tracking and the alignment. So first to check the fixturing. Normally I just touch the back of the autocollimator or the fixturing it's sitting on and seeing if that affects the reading of the autocollimator. Environment, what we're looking for here is temperature gradients or air turbulence. What we don't want is things like fans, open doors, affecting the light path of the autocollimator. Now we need to set the orientation and tracking. What we want to see is when the mirror tilts backwards and forwards, in other words going up and down, that the autocollimator is set so that it also measures just up and down. How I normally do this is if I move the mirror, if I twist the mirror left to right, we should only have one axis on the autocollimator moving. The second axis should remain stationary. Alignment. What we need to make sure is that the autocollimator is pointing at the centre of the mirror. This is easily done by using the laser sighting aid which is provided as standard with the instrument. And what we then do is we move the mirror from the front to the back of the rail and then back to the front again and make sure we have a signal all the way along the length of the rail. As we said earlier, the autocollimator gives you the angle of the mirror. What we have to do is sit this mirror onto a base, either an adjustable base as shown here or an ordinary fixed base. So if the autocollimator gives us the angle and we know the length of the base then the software can calculate the height changes. The autocollimator can measure in two axes. It can measure the top surface of the slideway but also the side surface. If you're measuring the side surface you will need some kind of side feet or side fence. We also offer simple intuitive software for these products that will give you information on straightness measurement, flatness measurement and polygon measurement. This software is provided as standard with the Ultra Autocollimator already loaded on the tablet PC. With the addition of an optical square you can measure squareness and also parallelism. With the addition of the Tallyvale electronic level, we can also measure twist or roll. Hopefully this short guide has been of some help to you. If you need any more information or further training, please contact us at Spectrum Metrology. Thank you.